Welcome back to Museum Diaries, you guys. We have a serious topic to talk about. I'm making some steaks over the pan, and they're cooked on this side already. That's about the color you want to get them to. And they look like they're about done, so I'm going to place them. on the plate there, turn this off, move this, put that in there and let that oil cool off before I put it in the water, and stick the knife there, just like that, so that's done. So today I took my parents to Costco, and let's not get into the big issue of how the book was bought and, and whatnot. Bottom line, line is the book is here. It's in our home. It's Prince Harry's Spare, which, you know, talks about his life pretty much after his mother, Princess Diana, passed away and he wasn't quite thrilled about the press hounding her and how they hounded her and Meghan Markle when they were in the UK. And the royal family didn't really do much to protect them but they would protect Prince William and Prince Charles and Camilla and Kate, Prince William's wife, so, and her family. So interesting how when Harry moved away, they, they, they cut him off completely with security, and I wouldn't be surprised financially, although they're the richest family in the world is what Veronica tells me. So they cut his security off, his security team. So he was left with no choice but to up and leave and pack and leave like a paranoid person because they were being hounded by the paparazzi up north. And um, they ended up moving in with Tyler Perry. Yes, Tyler Perry of all people. They stayed with him for for a while, for a few weeks. They got their feet down on the ground, and Harry started driving, and you know, driving his family around, and becoming part of LA society. And it really changed his perspective on a lot of things. So I'm looking forward to reading this book because a prince called Harry is now a Angelino. So how about that? Not Angelino, really. He lives up in Montecito. But he's in California. So let's see what happens. Let's see if he gets involved in some way. Let's see if he keeps continue to make impacts with his wife, Meghan Markle, who I love. I love her and Prince Harry. Veronica feels quite the opposite, and I'm not going to get into that. Let me ask her if she wants to get into that. Hang on, let me have a sip of wine. I decided to have some wine today since we're going to have steaks. Veronica, do you have anything you want to say about this book? Yes. Here I she is. I don't think our sympathies should be wasted on an elitist snob who is the 1% who's from the wealthiest family in the world. And how dare he wants us to cry a river because he was second place to Harry. I'm sorry. You mean Harry to William. To William. And I'm sorry, but I have no sympathy, no empathy toward those people that are in that class that want any sympathy from those of us that have had to scrub toilets, scrub floors, have to do all the menial jobs just to make bread and butter, and then we can't even get the jobs. We get on welfare or whatever other state competence that we can get. And that is my issue. So... So you're I, not big on the book, even though I went and bought it. I don't. I wouldn't waste the time. I wouldn't waste the time. Yeah, or the $21, $22 that no, was spent. No. Okay. Absolutely not. There you have it. I have the book. She doesn't want it. And uh, am I okay to read it or should I take it back? Go ahead and read it. She says yeah, I can go ahead and read it. And then I gotta resell it. She doesn't want it in the home. Okay. 
She doesn't believe in increasing the wealth of the 1% because they already have the wealth. Okay. We'll see you in the next video. I'm going to make some coffee. Some really cool coffee that I purchased from the morning movement. I'm excited to share that experience with you. I like trying new coffees. So this next one will be exciting. Okay, you guys. Bye for now. Okay, everyone. Hi, I hope everyone is doing fine. I'm here. I'm going to talk about this coffee, this baby blossom that I recently got from the Morning Movement Coffee. Okay, so I went ahead and got the uh, coffee pot ready, and I want to talk a little bit about this coffee. It was, it comes from Panama, it comes pre ground already. And like I said, I got this from the Morning Movement and I started following them from their first channel, The Nomadic Movement. And that's Kaylee and Jordan and they have a little baby girl named Sadie. And I started watching them a few years ago and they ended up buying some land in Panama, Boquete, Panama, where they have goats, a cow, chickens, um, and they even have water in their farm. And they have Rodrigo, their good friend, who was building an A-frame on their property. So I thought that was really cool. And it's coming along quite nicely. So that's the Jungle Boy, Rodrigo, whose channel that I also watch, D-A-J-U-N-G-L-E Boy, on YouTube. So um, uh, this Baby Blossom, it's a little bit more on the wild side. Let me see if you can see that. It's a little bit more on the wild side. It's type Arabica, vari varieties, Pacamara, roast, light, farm, Finica Bonita Springs, growing at altitude, 4,265 feet in elevation, tasting notes, ripe cherry, red wine, deep. And it says the morning movement, and I'm gonna show you how it's sealed. It's sealed up here at the top, but it's got this cool little tab right here that you can just flip out. See that? It flips out like this. Like that. And you just pull it, and you open your coffee. Let me smell this. Oh, wow. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, so fresh. I can smell. Definitely cherry. And I, it's weird, I kind of get like this uh, chocolatey smell. So this is going to be a very good coffee to taste. And they have the volcano in the back of their packaging, as I've told you about that. They live by a volcano down in Boquete, Panama. And they have a variety of coffees. I've tried their house blend, which I really like. It's nice and smooth. And it's not on the wild side. It's a little bit more in the middle. But let's give this one a try. Let's pop it in the coffee pot. I already poured my water in. Let's get it brewing. So this is their baby blossom. I bought it for $21.99. I know it's a lot, but these are exotic coffees, you guys, and I highly recommend you guys check them out. They're at themorningmovementcoffee.com. Let me see if you can see that. The Morning Movement Coffee.com. That's their website. So if you guys want to check out their coffees, I would highly recommend you guys go to their website, check out their varieties, and try buying one of these um, bags of coffee and trying different flavors. Uh, get away from Starbucks, you guys, and try something a little bit, more, a little bit more different, a little bit more exotic. And I can't wait for this first cup to be done, so I can give it a go and see what it tastes like. Up here, well, I do. I kind of do. I have my Mickey cup. I guess I could use this. 
It's a big cup, but let me show you Mickey. It's a big cup, but I can fit a lot of coffee in here. So being that I'm trying this baby blossom and I want to soak my taste buds in it, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sip this very smoothly. One sip at a time, and just like it says here, one bean at a time, and that's that's their that's kind of like their motto. They they roast one bean at a time. In a way, you know, they they, they pick they handpick the the good beans from the bad beans, and they make it all happen. Good stuff, you guys. So um, yeah, I've been following them for a few years. There's quite a few channels I actually follow on YouTube. I'm not much into. Um, I don't watch regular TV and I don't get on Netflix as much as I used to or Amazon Prime or Apple TV because there's so much to watch on YouTube. There's so much content out there. One of the one of our channels, we're Patreons for The Jungle Boy, which is Rodrigo's channel where he shows us how he's building this A-frame house in Boquete, Panama, Panama on Kaylee and Jordan's land there, which is called Lola's Farm. Lola because Lola is their dog that they've had with them along their travels and that's why they decided to name their farm Lola's Farm. So there's a little bit of history on those guys um, and when I see their videos when they talk about their search and their quest for coffee they talk to the different tribes out there and, and get access to their land and they see how they raise and grow and cultivate their coffee beans and and they shop around and they get the best coffees that, that are out there that are available but they get it from these indigenous lands and it's really awesome to know that we're financially contributing to their quest for some of the best coffees down in South America and I'm sure they're going to be auctioning going into auctions. I've seen Jordan do this where he goes onto an auction site for coffee and he tries to support buy support them, support he tries them, to buy they're worthy. Pounds and pounds of coffee and it, some of these coffees go for over $6,000 for a pound. I mean these guys are really know what they're doing and um, that's why like I said this bag of coffee right here is going to cost you a little bit more than what you would pay at Starbucks. $21.99 but this bag of coffee I know where it came from it's the best I know where it came from and as it's brewing right now I can't wait to have you a sip smell of this. it it's delicious yeah you can definitely smell it that's Veronica letting you know it smells really good like I said I wish you guys could smell when I first opened the bag I mean it smells so good I'm gonna open it again and take another whiff because oh, shake it around Wow, it smells so good. So we're gonna try this coffee out. And we can't uh, brag about these guys enough. We're gonna keep supporting them. We're gonna keep buying their coffee. We hope that some of you guys who are coffee drinkers go to the morning movement and pick up a bag of coffee. Um, it's good stuff. It's nothing like Starbucks. I mean, it doesn't even compare. You know, this is just such a higher quality um, flavor of coffee you can tell the difference when you sip on it so let me show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab what's in here it's almost a full cup and I'm gonna taste it as it is nice and black oh it smells delicious Mmm, that is deep. That is a deep tasting coffee. Rich coffee. I mean, I thought Starbucks had rich coffees, but this, this is something else. Let me add my creamer to it. And I'll tell you how it tastes now. Okay, here it goes, you guys. I love the smell. Mmm. That's good. That's full bodied. Definitely the hints of the 
red deep wine and the hints of cherry, but it's kind of got like this chocolate taste to it, like I tell you. Mmm, very good. So I'm gonna enjoy my cup of coffee. I hope you guys check out the Nomadic Movement on YouTube, Kaylee and Jordan, and their baby girl Sadie. Check out the Morning Movement on YouTube. That's their coffee, their roastery YouTube channel, and they always have content there for everyone. They always let you know what's going on when they're out looking for coffee, um, when they're brewing their coffee, when they're going between Stowe, Vermont, which is where the roastery is at, and going back to Boquete, Panama. And also, at times, they visit their family members. So there's a little bit of everything in these channels, you guys. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next Museum Diaries. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, remember to subscribe and like this video if you like the, the content. Okay, you guys, thanks, and bye for now.